What is up, YouTubers? Welcome to the channel here. We are playing a little historic five-color Niv Yorian. Some of my favorite cards of all times that I'm just praying are good in this format. I'm a little skeptical, but I have to spend most of this week getting to know the format that I have not played much of. So I'm going to be bringing a lot of YouTube content to you this week in preparation for uh, not only the Arena Open, but also the Star City Games Historic Championship Qualifier Number One. I got to get that branding right. Uh, so many, so many words to uh, uh, to what that tournament is called. Tournaments just used to be called SCGs. That was just plain and simple, easy. But yeah, now there's just a lot of words. So yeah, all right. So Yorian is behind here. I don't know why it does the face down card thing now, but. Whatever. I think this deck is going to be pretty good against Goblins. I'm a little skeptical against Team of Reclamation, but it might surprise me. Five Color Niv is a deck that really can just outvalue even some of the best value decks. But the whole Wilderness Reclamation, Untap, Explosion, you kind of thing, which let's get real, we're all so sick of, but somehow it's already into the historic format. Come on. So I don't want to just go right to Team of Reclamation. Uh, you know, I'm very experienced in the deck and I know how to play it. So I, I have time to fall back on it. Uh, and, you know, it's just a couple of functional upgrades from the standard version. So, you know, it'll be pretty close to um, being able to play the list that is in standard. You know, I mean, there's not too much difference. So it, it won't take that much adjusting if I have to go to that last minute. But up until then, I'm going to try anything else. Uh, to be able to play something. I did my dropping bombs that you can find over on StarCityGames.com on Wednesday on Mono Blue Temple, so I won't be covering that deck, but I really did like the way that one plays out, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and head over there and check that out. So, all right, without any further ado, let's do some battling here, okay? We'll see you in for our first round. All right, YouTubers, we are on the draw up against one of our buddies here, Mason Clark. Playing a Yorian deck as well, no surprise. We have very similar taste when it comes to deck choices, so uh, I am truly not too surprised here. I'm going to keep... Um, this hand is pretty decent, nothing extremely great, but not a mulligan in my opinion. Um, yeah, this will allow me to cast anything, so that seems fine. A Swamp and Yorian, huh? What is this, a Doom Foretold deck? Yeah. Rats. Ah, rats. What don't we want? We have a lot of red and we have enough green here. So I think we can get rid of that. I think I want to Thought Erasure here, actually. Make sure they don't have Treacherous Blessing. That's a problem card. The Immortal Sun. I guess we don't care about that. I care more about Golos here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have an emote battle, I have a feeling. I do have one basic, thankfully, here. Alright, Yori into the hand. Yeah, with all swamps, so I'm very confused. Explore. Bang. Let's play this, let's play this, and we'll say go. Nicol Bolas is actually not that good. It just leads right into the Chupacabra. So I don't really want to do that. Timurit. Okay. That's a decent problem, actually. Decent. Not that big of a problem. So we are going to play this. We might still just jam this Nicol Bolas. Make him discard a card. Ooh. Uh, And then we can just play Teferi Tick Up. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh, I guess that doesn't sound good. Then they have five power. No, that was a bad play. Shouldn't have did that. Yeah, I should have just played conservative. Probably put this into my hand, but that's okay. We shall see. Okay. Make them discard. Just wouldn't be that shocked if they discarded Yorian just because I just don't know how they can cast it. Yep, that makes sense. So confused. Okay, that was a good draw, actually. 
So I think I just want to go like this and then put Yorian into my hand. Just get Chupacabra out of here. Bring back Yorian and then say go. What you got, Mason? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you, what you got? Okay, we're not too afraid of that. There is blue mana. Alright. Teferi, draw a card. I'm gonna go like this. What is this? Blue, green, untap. One of these and one of these. Now the possibilities are endless of what we can have. That's not cool, but reasonable. Now are we afraid of Timoret or do we just want to control the rats that'll make us discard more cards? I think I'm more afraid of the rat. Ah, oh, rats, get that rat out of here. Bang. So now we can oath this. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we have to rat or er, oath the rat now. I want this card. Yeah, we'll say go. Kill the rat just in case they Yorian me. So I would like to keep my Teferi. And I'd like to draw an Uro. I think that would be the, the ideal draw here. We have a good chunk of cards in the yard. Man, Historic's wild. Okay. It's just mono black, basically, except we have some triomes to cast Yorian. Mono black Yorian. Nice. Nice. I like it. Okay. I'm scared. All right. Guess that could be worse. Um, so we can to fairy tick up thought erasure. That's a solid play. Or we could uh, to fairy bounce Timoret and thought erasure the Yorian. That's probably better. Upstairs. Let's get rid of Yorian. Oh my, can I cast that yet? No. Can I cast it and play it from the hand? Is there even a point? Oh yeah, I don't want it to get Timoret. Crap. Yeah, I definitely want to leave it on top then. And hope that they don't leave up a bunch of mana. Actually, I don't think they can interact with this. As long as I have the mana to do so. Blue, green. Blue, green, okay. And yeah, we're gonna go get blue, so that doesn't matter. Oh, dang it, we don't get our Uro, of course. Yeah, that sucks. So I sh should have graveyarded it, but if I graveyard it, they take it, so. Okay. I guess I can wait on this. But I probably don't want to wait too long, because Timurad is a pain. So up to two target cards. Yeah, let's just get it out of here. Only exiling one, though. That's that's strange. That's strange. Now I feel behind, but we do have just crazy good top decks, of course. I'm thinking of a certain five mana uh, card here. Let's see. I guess that's not terrible. Thought Erasure. Chainer's Edict? Oh, let's get rid of this. 
Don't care about the rest of the cards there. Might just use Teferi if they play like a Ravenous Chupacabra. Cling to dust. Okay. I think I'll just tick up one more time. Say go. Maybe use this. <laughs> okay. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's bounce Oath. We'll play this. We'll play this. And we'll just say go. Gaunty Father. Okay, that's pretty spicy. Mason's deck is pretty sweet, I must say. Okay. All right. Might bounce Gaunty. That is quite the combo. All right, I still just want to find a Niv. No such thing. Uh, decline. I can just start going face here. Um. I want to keep that just in case they wrap me, I think. All right. I'm just going to say go. Not sure on this one. Yeah. Gaunty father. I bet they won't pick Niv Mizzets if they can. Probably not gonna take too many hits in their mono black deck. <laughs> Are we clinging? Okay, okay. Gain three life, you got it. All right, one, two, three. Let's start by cycling. Still just wanna find Niv, no such luck. All right, now we're gonna hit Gaunty. We've given up on the going face plan since they just gained some life. All right, and then we're gonna play this, do a little cycling and say go. Good thing our whole deck basically cycles, you know, most of our land. Okay, we'll probably have to deal with Teferi next turn by bouncing Oath, Oathing it, then playing our own Teferi. Sure. Cling away. Oh, meant to uh, Swift End. I would like to sack. Okay. All right, we'll cycle this. Ooh, one, two, three, four, okay. Well, 
Um, I mean, Nickel Bolas is going to die, so we should probably just wait until we can play it and transform it. Seems like a much better play to me. So let's put this into our hand. And now is it worth it to protect... Um, and we don't really care about Teferi, but... I want to stop them from killing my stuff, but maybe that's not a big deal either. Um... Let's see, to kill Teferi or to kill Murderous Rider here. I think controlling the creatures is still more important. I'm gonna keep this in hand to discard. Yeah. What a weird game. Yeah, they have all these ways to kill creatures, so. I'm not gonna get too carried away with that. Okay, Uro and their mono black deck, sweet. I'm guessing they're gonna cling that. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I should have played the land just in case I drew another land. Then I could play and flip this. Yeah, that was probably bad. Okay. Well, if I do draw an untapped land, I'll feel real stupid. This might be a bad idea. Sweet. Okay, we are going to play Teferi here just because I want to draw a card. Hiya! Probably still cast Niv Mizzet off that. I would think so. Where are our Nibs? Okay. All right, I want to Oath this to Fairy so it can't draw a card. And we'll say go. Now we can Nickel Bolas plus flip it next turn. What a weird game. What a very weird game. Oh, I love that card. I love the Eldest Reborn. That's one of my favorite cards of all time. These are all sorcery speed effects, but they can actually do it at instant speed. So as long as they tap out, which they did, that will be good. Okay. All right. So do this. One, two, three, four. What is the other side even? Draw two cards, probably. It's gonna be my modes. From a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So I could put a creature, ooh. Could put a Yorian into play. Or, yeah, that's about all I got. I probably just wanna draw cards, to be honest. Start by drawing cards. <laughs> All right, discard this. Now next they're putting a creature or planeswalker card into play, that's scary. All right, take five. Could just tuck it away. So many modes. We're probably just gonna draw two cards again, realistically. Take that. That's pretty good. Uh, I just want to draw cards, I think. 
Nickel Bullis. Okay, those were not ideal. But I'll play it to Fairy. We'll see what we get from that. Draw a card. Okay. Maelstrom Pulse, the Eldest Reborn. And that's it. We're going to cling to dust a little bit. I can't cast anything, so it doesn't truly really matter. So we have this Teferi that won't leave me alone. <laughs> what a match. Okay. All right, they're running out of cards. Come at my Nicol Bolas and Teferi, I dare you. I dare you. Mono Black Yorian, that is a new one, I must say. Drawing four cards a turn, though, is probably pretty good. Do I still play Niv Visits? I'm wondering, because it's been half my deck. Okay, Golos. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta try to kill that Golos which I can do or I can at least tuck it Could bring back Demon Lord Belza, Belzalock. That seems interesting. So they can't cling. All right, let's try it. We're gonna have some fun. We came here to game. Let me reread that one more time. All right, yeah, that should be sweet. <laughs> All right, from one dragon to a demon. Yep, I will sacrifice this. Okay. Um, don't really want them to have this Golos ability anymore. Let's get that out of there. It's Clarion. Both modes. Let's go like this. And we'll say go. Ooh, I guess they can return Demon Lord with Teferi. Oh, uh, that's kind of bad. I guess it's not terrible, terrible, but yeah, not, not ideal. Seven. Okay, all right, they didn't see the line. Sweet. All right, here's Golos. What a wild game. Still looking for our nibs. Uh. 
One, two, three, four, five. So I think we're one short. Ooh, wait, the lantern, I guess, huh? Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so definitely drawing a card. We need to move quick. Clarion. Um, so I can put a Demon Lord into my hand again. Why not, right? Another Clarion, okay. Guess I'm probably just going to, well, we'll start with an Explore. All right. Probably just double Clarioning here. Still just waiting for a Niv-Mizzet here. <laughs> this game is absurd. They basically just have infinite mana. That's pretty clear. No! Castle, I imagine. Okay. I now have a bigger graveyard than my deck. Kin Kling, Chupacabra. There we go, finally. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Blue, green, colorless, Uro. They won't have a way to interact with this, so we'll be able to bring it back. Let's get all the creatures out of there. And I could, uh, sure, could deal with this, but that's not a big deal. Um, keep up the pace. All right, so I can only cast one spell here. I could just bounce Niv Mizzet. Because they do have double edict. Yeah, okay. Then I lose my Teferi though. All right, so I actually want to destroy this. Uh, oh yeah, they can eat a dead end step. Nice, nice. Leave my Uro alone. This is 
is just an absurd game. Okay. I do have the power of Teferi, so I could just tuck, just repeatedly tucking stuff. Let's try this. Pretty normal game of historic, I imagine, right? Like this is, uh, this is what you should expect from this format. Nine mana, of course. Okay. Oh, God. That can transform. Draw a card. You know what? See what's on top, and then we can cycle into it. Sure. No, thank you. I'm probably going to deck this game. I think that's becoming pretty apparent. Okay. Okay, bring back Uro. Do not want them to have that. Wow, what an absurd game. <laughs> oh God. I cannot get Uro right now. Okay. Gonti's been returned. They're only at four, so we're a couple oath triggers away from winning. But let's see how many are left. I believe no Teferi is left. But looks like we do have one Oath. What is that card face down in my exile? Oh, it was a land. Okay, so there's, there's one Oath left in the deck, I think. Okay, okay. Niv.
I love that. I love that dragon card. Okay, so we know we have basically nothing left. Except Niv Mizzets. So we have to win with what we have. We don't have another Oath. We can start tucking Oath of Kaya's. Guess that's a, a thing we can do. But if they were to Gaunti, then it's pretty backbreaking. All right, let's put Oath back. Reverse. Guess I could have did that before I nived. That would have probably been safer. All right, beat those two giant creatures. So we're gonna draw a card, then we can draw again. So we'd have to play the other Teferi to hit Oath. Leave my cards alone. Okay. I guess with Uro we would draw the Oath. Okay. Not quite enough. Okay, I guess they can kill Teferi now. I'll have a better plan next time. Play Uro. Now, if we draw Niv, I think that's the best draw. Mostly because the rest of the draws don't do anything. Um, okay. Oath. Upstairs. Teferi. Talk the oath. You need to slow down. And then we win next turn. If all goes according to plan. <laughs> oh man. This is too fun. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. They have to kill Teferi, otherwise we just get to draw it. Uh, I actually want to hit Murderous Rider here. No, we get to draw it anyways, because we can just escape. Oh yeah, they do gain two, but that's not enough. Okay. <laughs> they just died. <laughs> oh, this is the most ridiculous game ever. Is this what historic is? Because I don't want to play anymore. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we bring in high impact spells, but what the hell? I mean, they have a lot of things to kill this, so that's not great. I'm going to bring in Kaya. 
Uh, Ashiok seems pretty good against Golos and stuff. Bring in the other Oath. That card's not bad. Don't think I really want the Wrath effects. Or er, Scorn is, is worse than Clarion's. Um... <laughs> Guess we just submit like this. That was absurd, y'all. If this is what Historic is like, I guess I'm in, because that was sweet. All right, game number two, my YouTuber friends. Wow, wow. Yeah, this is a good way to start exploring the format, I must say. All right, Mason's at 10 minutes. We got like 13. Okay, I can keep. We gotta give him some crap. This is our good buddy, so don't think we're trolling just some random friend. This is our this is our friend. He's a cool dude. Nice kid. Nice kid for sure. Okay, so let's just Uro into Teferi. Come on, Teferi. Yep, I have a land, I promise. And we still have this. Ooh, can we put this into play? Yep, we sure can. It's a fairy, and we get to grow a spiral. Okay, green, blue. Play our land. I think I just wanted to fairy time Reveler and, and Thought Erasure. See what they're cooking with. Hello. <laughs> uh, ooh, Thought Distortion. I don't want to see that against me. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that crap out of here. Wow, they just could have cast that too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so we have Uro. Is not great. Teferi is much better with what they have, so I think we'll just do this. Draw a magical card. I guess let's bounce. Since we have another Teferi, I don't care about this one that much. Oh, I guess I could have saved it with Clarion. Um, yeah, instead we'll just go like this. Say go, untap some lands just to be able to cycle. We'll let him kill our thing. Might be the Elder Spell. I can see that being a thing. Yep. <laughs> nice. The Elder Spell, get him. It only killed Teferi, so Noxious Grasp essentially would have been the same thing. Okay, one, two, three, four. We can Uro plus Nickel Bolas. Like, just say, hey, deal with both of them. Yeah, let's do this first. Um, that leaves blue, red, black. All right, so green, blue, green, blue. That seems to be good. Okay, Uro. Okay, we'll go like this. Do I want to? Yeah, I think it's still worth it, even though it's gonna die. Well, to be fair, one, two, yeah, we're still pretty far away from doing the other side, so I think this seems fine. It's a clean two for one. Go like that and say go. This game's looking a little different. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're a little away from 
uh, Uroing it. And now we get to Clarion, clean up the day. Uh, so first we'll go like this. Then we'll go like this. Both modes. Attack. Sure. I guess we didn't need to take two, probably. All right. Tick this up. Don't want to play anything. I'd rather cycle than play Yorian, so we'll say go. Nice. All right, Murderous Rider to the hand. Yeah, we're just going to want to bounce this. Probably just Yorian. Uh, we'll play one of them. All right, one, two, three. Oh, my one short from O thing as well. I sure am. So maybe that's a reason to just go like this anyways. Yeah, I like it. We will cycle right now. All right, your go. <laughs> it's a good one, oh, that's a good one. Then they could murder us right or this if they wanted to. That seems pretty dangerous. All right, I guess they're just dead. Um, let's just do this for posterity's sake. Bang, bang. Good luck, one, two, three. Okay, we can put this into play tapped. We'll put a stop here and turn three upstairs. Thought Erasure, you. Uh, I don't think any of them save them. Uh, I think Chupacabra is worse. Yeah, they don't win by not casting this card, that's for sure, but they don't win by casting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, I guess that's the welcome to historic that we're gonna get here. So I got a lot more exploring of the format to, to do this week. So I'll be posting other videos with different deck ideas, different deck lists. So stay tuned all week if you're in the mood for some historic, it's gonna be a historic weekend. So like and subscribe below uh, if you wanna follow and, and uh, uh, follow along on my journey. Uh, to play the Arena Open and the Star City Games event, which are both historic this weekend. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Smash that subscribe button, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.